Hey guys, welcome back to another LV1 Quick Tips video. This is number four in the series, and this one is gonna be for those mouse warriors out there. If you've ever opened the LV1 manual and gone all the way to the end, you'll notice that there's a list of keyboard shortcuts. And that's what we're gonna be going over today. Okay, so let's take a look at the Alt keys. If you Alt click on any control, that is going to bring it basically to the, to the default value. For faders, it's gonna be zero. It's also gonna be zero for like your accents. However, if you're tweaking any plugin, alt click will bring that control back to its default value. Okay, so if you'd like to insert, say, an NLS in position eight across all channels, you can alt right click, insert a plugin. Let's see, we'll go grab that NLS channel. This is gonna put it one through 16 and 17 through 32. If we were running a 64 channel mixer, it'd send it all the way up to channel 64. And we can alternatively remove it. If you'd like to bypass all plugins in a certain position, then you can alt right click bypass. Turn that back on. If you'd like to disable the plugins and free up some DSP usage, but still keep that plugin around, you can alt right click and disable plugin. And likewise, we can turn it back on. Onto the control key, we can control click on a plugin and disable that individual plugin. Likewise, we can control click and turn it back on. You can also control alt click on a plugin and bypass it. So if you just want to temporarily bypass it, it's still gonna use DSP. And you're supposed to be able to control alt click and turn it back on. However, there's a bug in the system right now and hopefully that'll be fixed soon. If we go over to our stereo channel, we can move our imager but if we control click, we can actually change the width. Okay, so if we head over to our aux sends, we can go to aux effects or monitors. Let's turn on tom one, give it some level. We can control click above the bar and change whether it's an input mode, uh, post pen, uh, post effects, etc. Let's go ahead and head over to our channel now. Uh, same sort of thing as earlier. We can control click on a plugin to disable it. And then control click again to re-enable it. And then we can control alt click to bypass it. And here the control alt click bypass does work both on and off. One feature not covered in the manual, that I can see at least, is the ability to take our mouse. We can adjust gain and then we can hold the alt key and then adjust our cue. We can do this in the channel focused view here. We can also go back here to the overview and do it there as well. This section right here also works with multi-touch, which I'll cover in another video. Anyway, I hope this quick overview of some keyboard shortcuts in the LV1 was helpful to you. As always, like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next LV1 Quick Tip video.